Hey, so what's going on everyone? Quick video here to share with all of you on how you can clean or free up your C drive space or storage in Windows 10. These free methods and these free tools that I'm getting ready to show you how to use and what to do are completely built into your Windows 10 system, whether it's your laptop, your desktop, or other devices running Windows 10. These things are available to you free of charge and free to do as long as you know how to do them. I recommend doing what I'm getting ready to show you how to do every month or two, or you know, you could do it every six months, however often you want, but it will help increase your system performance. This will not delete any videos, pictures, music, anything that's important to you like that. What I'm showing you is stuff that's in the background that you don't need on your C drive and it's just taking up space. So this will help some folks with low disk space errors and things like that. And it'll help you gain some storage back and help with boot times and of course system performance and all that good stuff. So you wanna go down here to the lower left corner right click on the start window here and you're looking for the one that says run if you do not see this run here then click on search and what you're going to do is type in run and what that'll do is that will open up the run app right here for you and all you need to do is click on that and it should open up this dialogue right here what you want to first do we're going to clear out the temp folder so type in the word temp, click OK. And what that should do is open up something similar to this, a box telling you, you don't currently have permissions, but obviously you go ahead and click continue. And anything that's in this temp folder, you just wanna delete. So how I do it is I just kind of have the cursor right here in like the white area. And all I do is hit control on the keyboard and A, and that selects everything in the folder. So then all you gotta do is hit the word delete on the keyboard and then click continue. Now what you'll notice is some of the stuff that it can't delete or it says folder is in use is because this is a temporary folder. My system is currently running, so it's temporarily using that folder. So the files that are there listed are probably running right now currently, which is fine. Now I showed you how to get to the run command, so I'm gonna click run. The next uh, one you wanna type in here is you wanna hit shift and use the percentage key and then type in temp and then key in another percentage sign at the end of the word temp exactly like that. And what you wanna do is hit okay, and we'll jump back out. Now see, this one is gonna have a lot more junk in it. Again, hit control A, and that selects everything. I'll hit delete, and I'm gonna click continue. Again, it may not get rid of every single thing in there. You can check mark this box that says do this for all the items and click skip, which we can do. And you might have to do continue or skip a few different times. What that will do is I only have a small handful of stuff in here. Sometimes you can do it two times. I'll right click and I just wanna delete and see if it'll delete anything else. Sometimes you can get away with doing it two times, but if you narrow it down and there's only a few things in there, again, I have a lot of stuff running on my system, that folder should empty out for you, but it really doesn't matter because the system will rebuild that stuff and put it back in the temp folders anyway. Basically, you're just collecting junk that accumulates over time. Go back down to that run command and you wanna type in the word prefetch. Just like that, click OK. Again, we're getting, we don't have permission to access, but we're going to anyway. And then just hit Control A and delete. And then that's normally what it does is gets you know rid of all the junk that accumulates over time from system boots, from you going different places, opening different things, all that junk. And then we have a settings temp folder as well in Windows. Just go down to the little windows again, click on that, and you can click this little gear here that says settings, or you can right click on the window and click settings this way. But we are going to go into the windows settings like this. And the one you're looking for is this one here that says system. And then on on the left panel here, you want to choose this one that says storage. So you select that, and what you're doing is you're allowing all this stuff here to load up. Everyone's system is gonna be a little different. The one that you want to take a look at here is this one that says temporary files. All the way down the list here, it shows a little trash can. Click on that. And when that, what that's gonna do, as you can see, kind of accumulates up here at the top. And it even says 8.53 gigabytes right there. All this junk here, uh, Windows updates, cleanup. It even says Windows, it says it right here. Windows keeps copies of all 
installed updates for Windows Update, even after installing newer versions of updates. This is the kind of stuff that you can kind you can get rid of, and it's taking up a good amount of storage there. Thumbnails, it keeps a copy of all that. What happens is if we delete all this junk, and I'm going to check mark delivery optimization files, anything in the recycling bin you want to delete as well, because right now all that stuff that I put in that we deleted went into the recycling bin, and that still takes up space on your hard drive. So what you want to do is go ahead and click on this that says remove files. And it could take a little while for some of you. I don't know how fast mine's gonna go. But what this is doing is getting rid of all that junk in the background. There is nothing else being deleted here. No important data of yours, no videos, no pictures, no music, nothing important like that. It's all stuff that Windows will recreate and a lot of it's cache, which is stuff that will rebuild itself. Okay, so now mine got finished. And for some of you that probably took a while, I don't know, but I clean mine often, so it didn't take me as long but you can see now it says zero bytes and we're all good there so that's another spot that you can go and get rid of all that stuff now the next place we're gonna go is it's this icon here on the desktop that I put on mine it's a shortcut to this PC we're gonna go to devices and drives if you don't have this icon I'll show you how to get to it real quick go down to the little window in the corner click that little window or you could actually what you want to do is right click on that little window and you just want to go to search and then in here you want to type in my space PC and I'll zoom out and you can see that it gives us the app right here so this is one way that you can get to it if it's not on your desktop like mine is so go ahead and click that go to the one here that says C and you want it's your C drive you want to right click on that and then you can come down here where it says properties and select properties okay and then if you click through some of these tabs you have a few different you know tools in here the first one we're gonna do is we're gonna click disk cleanup and that's gonna probably be empty because we already did it through the Windows settings one but it's always good to run through these as well and I mean there is nothing in here that will hurt or delete any of your files what you want to do is you check mark them all and you click clean up system files again most of them we already cleaned up but it's just a follow-up and another way to get in there and clean off any missed files anything like that another thing I want to show you this is more of a performance thing would be click on the tab tools here click optimize and then you're gonna get this screen here so this lists all my hard drives on my computer what I do I select if you click them they'll highlight light blue you select the top one click optimize and you'll notice that it's gone through optimizing I'll go down the list click them all click all of them to optimize if you click on it and analyze is grayed out you can't click it then it's done yeah, so there's one more thing I want to share with you guys that may help with low disk space or error messages coming up from storage and things like that zoom back in down here to the start window and right click and click on run and then you want to type in WS reset dot exe click ok what should happen is you'll get this blank command window popping up and this is normal this blank command window will stay here while it's clearing cache in the background and then automatically you should see the microsoft store box pop up here for you but what that does is refresh and clear cache and that's just another way that if some of you are having some storage issues or maybe getting some errors, that clears it in the background. That's a neat little thing. So that you can throw in there and try, it won't hurt nothing. And that's pretty much all I got for you guys as far as kind of cleaning your PC up, optimizing your drives, emptying out the prefetch, the temp folders. Again, no files are lost. Everything gets rebuilt as far as cache. And once you do all that, what I recommend you do is just reboot your Windows 10 laptop or desktop computer. Anyway, I hope the video was helpful to you guys. If it was, hit the like button and share it. And I'll see you guys next time.